Hi, I'm Greg Williams from Wired, and we're here in Tel Aviv to find out why it's such a dynamic startup hub. And who better to ask than some of Israel's most successful entrepreneurs? Just tell us a little bit about yourself and about your business. People do not check their credit card and bank statement, yep. and they're losing a lot of money because of it. What would happen if we could use crowdsourcing? to build this brain that will help people track their money and get alerted to stuff they shouldn't be paying for. In Cortico, we are developing a technology that can accurately recognize and understand images. Yep. Our unique approach is uh, inspired by how the brain processes natural signals and recognize concepts. So I'm a serial entrepreneur. I built few companies and I'm going to build few more. Yeah. And I'm also uh, managing a Singularity team, which is uh, the most active Israeli VC. Right, okay. Why do you think Israel, or Tel Aviv I should say specifically, why is it so dynamic, why is it so successful? We don't have any market, so we only 8 million people. Right. So we are forced to use the most important natural resource in the world, which is yep. the human brain, right. creativity, yep. and innovation. If you even look at the city of Tel Aviv itself, um, nearly a century ago it was founded by a group of families who built a thriving settlement just out of sand dunes. Yeah. <laughs> and today, a century later, we are a major metropolitan city. We still have that same spirit. So that's what you get here. Everybody around you here is glorifying anything that's to do with innovation. We must innovate. Yeah. That's the reason that Tel Aviv is so vibrant. How would you characterize the nature of the, the entrepreneur here in Tel Aviv? Resilience and, and this kind of naivety. And what I found the most unique about this place is the army. It's kind of the start of factory in a way, right? People yeah. create skills and build characters for people that, you know, that come out of this experience wanting to change the world. So you're coming out of the army, you're very mature to your age and you've done stuff that other people at your age doesn't do. Right. You come up with a lot of a lot of confidence. When I left the army, I felt like, oh, if Steve Jobs can do it, I can also. I was wrong. <laughs> but that's what I felt. That's the feeling coming out of the army, doing something significant. When you're 23 years old, trying to raise your first round of financing and building a company, like there's, like you need help. People are very liberal, very creative, very open. And a lot of giving, strong community. You cannot go to lunch without bumping into a fellow founder or engineer or investor. In the old days it would have created art, yeah. then movies and content, and today it creates technology. They suddenly put you in a place where you're in charge of such important things and the bleeding edge of technology. But sometimes, somehow you are, and it becomes routine, and anything yeah. can become routine. And then you come out of this experience and you feel that you could do anything. Yeah.